countries, they're all doing it. Vans, the tennis shoe vans, they had a support Hong Kong protester shoe. They're pulling it now. They're pulling it. Okay. So what it's helped would be fascinating to see if China came out more overtly for a, a vaunted liberal cause, against a vaunted liberal cause. Like if they came out overtly against gay marriage or something. I would I would love to see that play out. Because I these guys I believe they're not well they should look this I'm up. I'm sure they're not in support. They're not supportive of gay marriage or gay people or homosexuality. I'm pretty sure. But I mean when the when Charlotte is in a state that passed the law that said transgender people need to go to the bathroom of their birth gender. That terribly restrictive law in, in public. They pulled the All-Star game out of the city of Charlotte because of this. And yet, in China, we're talking about millions of people who are political prisoners and you're supporting their government over one of your own employees who barely even did anything. Let's be clear here, but not like he's leading an organization who's over in Hong Kong rescuing people. He, he put up a tweet, and it wasn't, he didn't even write the tweet. It was a screenshot of somebody else's tweet. Here's what I like. Matt Stone and Trey Parker from South Park, they said, like the NBA, we welcome the Chinese censors into our homes and into our hearts. We too love money more than freedom and democracy. And President Xi doesn't look like Winnie the Pooh at all. Tune in to our 300th episode this Wednesday at 10. Long live the Communist Party of China. May autumn sorghum harvest be bountiful. We good now, China?